The opposition NDC has suspended all political activities and declared three days of mourning in honour of the party's former national chairman, Kwabna Ajay, who died early Tuesday morning at the Greater Accra Regional Hospital after battling sickness for a number of days. Now, the 76-year-old former MP for Biakoye was influential in the run-up to the 2008 general election, which saw late President Atta Mills marginally emerging winner. Now, the National Democratic Congress has directed that the party's flag should fly at half-mast across the offices as part of the morning. Latif Idris was at the party headquarters and put this report together. It is somber mood here at the headquarters of the opposition and DC following reports about the death of the former MP and former national chairman of the party. Uh, reports have it that the former chairman battled with uh, sickness at the Greater Accra Regional Hospital that is the rich hospital for a number of days, but gave in on Tuesday morning. Uh, and so the party here at the headquarters, like many other regional and district offices across the country, are taking the news and are in a rather somber mood. According to the communication director of the opposition NDC, Sami Jemfi, the party has therefore declared three days of mourning and the flags of the opposition NDC would be flying at half mast across the country. Um, it is with great sadness that, that we learned of the uh, demise of our former national chairman and leader, uh, Comrade Kwamla Eje. As you can see, I'm in black because the party um, is in a state of mourning. This is a great loss to the NDC family because Dr. Kwamla Eje, before his passing, was a member of the Council of Elders of our party. And uh, he's been a great pillar you know, uh, behind the formation of our party. And he's worked in various capacities to ensure that the NDC is where it is today. But not just that, he um, is a great, you know, he was a great patriot and has served this country in many capacities. First as a member of parliament for Biakoya constituency and uh, served on various committees in parliament, rose to become the majority, the majority leader and uh, minister for parliamentary affairs. Later on, um, held various ministerial positions, minister for food and agrig. Even before that, he had been minister for lands and forestry. And so he served this country. He's paid his dues to the development of this country. And that is why his passing is a great loss, not only to the NDC, but to the entire nation. As a person, he was um, a great thinker. He was a peacemaker, had a great sense of humor. And um, like I said, his person has come to us with deep sorrow and shock. And so the Functional Executive Committee of the party has declared three days of mourning for him. And during these three days, all our flags who will be flying at half mast. Um, all our party programs will be suspended across the 10 regions of Ghana. You know that we are scheduled to induct our new flag bearer and leader, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, into the National Executive Committee of the party tomorrow. But that program has, become, has been rescheduled as well. So um, the party is in a state of mourning, and that is why we have declared these three days of mourning for him. And uh, it is. I hope that we will all use this period to reflect on the ideals of peace, you know, ideals of um, comradeship, the ideals of patriotism that Dr. Kwabneje championed whilst he was alive. How is the family of the late chair taking this news? Have you as a party been in touch with them and how are they receiving the news? I know that the leadership of the party has reached out to them 
obviously is a, is a great loss to them as well. Uh, because even though he was a member of the great Akatamanzo family, he also had an immediate family. And so um, they are currently uh, going through a lot of grief, justifiably so. And so let me once again use this medium for and on behalf of the Functional Executive Committee of the party to convey our heartfelt and deepest condolences to the family of the late, you know, Dr. Kwebneje. Um, it is our hope that the good Lord will comfort them and uh, grant our, you know, comrade, Dr. Kwebneje, you know, uh, perfect rest. He was a towering figure exactly. in the party. It is a challenge to we the young and up and coming ones to do more. You know, and, and to walk in the uh, footsteps of these great comrades of our party. But not just that, um, like I said, his paid his dues to the development of this country. Everybody who knows him will tell you that he was a great patriot who had this country at heart. And if you look at his record at the Ministry of Food and Agriculture, Ministry of Lands and Forestry, when he was PNDC Deputy Secretary for Voter Region and so on, you realize that he distinguished himself excellently you know, in public service. And so I believe we have a lot to learn from his life. And uh, we have a lot to also celebrate, you know, with regards to what he was able to achieve for the party and for the nation. And that is what we want to focus on for now. Some supporters and sympathizers of the party here at the national headquarters have also been telling Joy News about what they make of the demise of the former chairman. Uh, in fact, I didn't even know that Komaje died. But Komaje, if he died, he was a great man, our party leader, chairman. And in fact, the worst he did for us, not the small thing. So, you have to bring your party into. Right now, you are telling me that he died. I didn't know that Komaje died. Mm, so I'm now hearing that he died from you. Mm -hmm. how, how is that news hitting you? Right now, when, what I'm feeling within myself, only God knows. Right now, because I didn't know, I came right now. Don't put energy in Kua. It's a normal name. I like Bashi Uru Kunchi. I don't want to see me, but I like my Adua. Right there. Party May his soul rest in perfect peace, Dr. Kwabna uh, Ijay.